very good morning to you. In his letter to the Philippians in chapter 4, Paul writes, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Always? In every situation? Even if you are starving or retrenched? or not paid because of COVID-19, or you lose a child or a spouse, or your parents while you're still young, come on. We need to read the text carefully again. Paul doesn't say we must always rejoice in our circumstances, whatever they are. He does say, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the fact that you are in the Lord no matter what has happened to you. Because you're in the Lord, you can handle any situation. Paul was in prison, most likely facing a death sentence for inciting a riot. Yet he writes, Rejoice in the Lord always. And furthermore, he was writing to the Philippian church members who were facing horrible, ugly, cruel persecution just for being Christian. Rejoice in the Lord, he urges them. And so to us Christians today, in the midst of this world pandemic, Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always. There have been times in the history of the church when religion has overtaken the church, when children were punished for smiling or laughing on the Sabbath, when the Sunday was a day to be dreaded. They forgot Jesus' words that the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. And in the creation story, on the Sabbath, God rested from his labour and rejoiced in what he had created. Rejoicing is of God. There is more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over all the others. Augustine in his catechism says, We are created to enjoy God forever. And that we have been created for God's pleasure. So to miss out on joy is to miss out on the reason for our existence. On the other hand, we could say that joylessness is sin. It's not of God. Therefore, no matter what the circumstances, we Christians can always rejoice in the Lord who gives us the peace his peace, which keeps God over our hearts and minds. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, that despite everything, we can rejoice in you. We can rejoice too, that you so loved the world, that you gave us your Son, your only begotten Son, that you ever trusts in him, may have life, life in all its abundance, that he also gives us his hope when all hope seems lost, and faith to trust in him through all the chances and changes of life. Grant, Father, that the joy of the Lord may be seen in us, in what we say, in what we do, and in what we are. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Go now in peace, in love, and in joy, for Christ's sake. Amen. <laughs>
at God's right hand till all his foes submit and bow to his command and fall beneath. 